Hey guys, welcome back to another NBA Live Mobile video. Yes, it's been a few weeks since I've made a video on NBA Mobile. I mean, there's been better, better stuff to post since then in the last few weeks. Madden Console, Madden Mobile. But uh, yeah, Season Score came out a little, bit, a little while ago. I'm kind of late on it, but I'm still going to make a video of best methods and ways I'm going to get my Season Score up. So it's a little different. It's like 200 tickets. I don't know how it'll work in NBA, but they're just like Madden Mobile in the last few years. There's been, there are a bunch of categories, similar categories. You get tickets for your team, your level, objectives, head-to-head -head leagues. Summer courts is like a big. It's a really long promo. Achievements, live events, sets, and seasons. So I've maxed out on three of them. My level. I've max. I actually maxed out. I'm level 50. Uh, 20 live events, or a thousand live event wins, and achievements. So, uh, and I'm almost at leagues. This is a pretty easy way to. So I'm gonna go over the the easiest ways to, the the best categories to complete to get season score. So right now I'm at 107 out of 200, which is a little more than half, probably equivalent to around 12 tickets on Man Mobile because there are 20. So I wouldn't say like my team, it's Anton. It's an okay way to get tickets. Like I got 32 out of this, but once you're past 92 or 93, you're really gonna have to start putting a lot of money into the game. So you can't really grind for your team. Level obviously really good. Objectives. I don't really do this because I don't really play NBA Live Mobile. I don't really grind it that much. But if you like, if NBA Mobile is like your main like favorite game, this should be really this should be a really good way to get tickets because you just basically have to play. And like get, you basically just have to play a lot of events in season mode, and get some specific achievements. And if you get like a bunch of them, you get some of these season score tickets. So I think this is a really good way to get it just for grinding. Head to head, I mean head to head, it really takes forever. I don't know. I guess you could play if you really want to grind, but it gets kind of boring. But head to head is a decent way because uh, but you still have to get like. 25 to 30 wins if you want to get one of these tickets on the bottom but if you move up divisions you'll get some more tickets live events pretty easy just just play some live events each day for four or five stamina nothing difficult achievements you really get these achievements if you play year round so you could start getting some achievements now but since it only gives 10 tickets you're de you're definitely going to need to complete a lot it's it's ba it's basically one achievement per or it actually is one achievement, one ticket per 10 achievements. Summer courts, the team, I mean, yeah, the summer court elites are really expensive, but live events, once again, you could grind those. There's always summer courts events, that, events out, they're out for another month, and they've been out for about two months already. So, yeah, it's pretty easy to, uh, it's a pretty good way to get tickets for the live events, but it does only give five tickets max. Leagues really easy. You just need to play tournaments every day, get in an active league, and always play your turns. Or I don't know what they call it. I think it's turns. So then you can get tournament wins, which eventually gets to 15 wins, 15 tickets. I'm four wins away from maxing out on on leagues. Seasons takes a really long time, but it does give good rewards. If you play, I'm probably gonna get into this, but if you grind. If I finish like three or four more seasons, that'll be already like four more, four more tickets plus all the ones on the bottom. So that'll get me another additional one or two tickets. So that's a pretty good way to do it because if you're automatically getting like 20 wins if you win one championship, so you'll get a ticket on the top and you'll probably get a ticket on the bottom. So yeah, that's a decent method. Sets, I mean sets, different sets. I don't really like this that much because most sets are like. Like, you're not going to be completing those, like, Ultimate Legend sets that are, like, impossible. Like, the Summer Court Master, not many people complete that. So, I mean, there are different sets to complete, like the team sets, if you complete all those. It costs a little bit of coin, but not much. You would definitely rack up on sets. But, yeah, I guess there is stuff to do, so do that. And, yeah, that's basically it. So, uh, yeah, there's all these events. There's a Flash event. There's a new flash event, I think, two or three times a day. New events every day. 
There's always one of these new summer courts that scatters around the map. Uh, you could always play these if you want to. There's new summer break ones. There's sometimes summer break Brooklyn, summer break Chicago, summer break Seattle. And then you could obviously get, if you unlock these other events like Venice Beach and Summer Core Master and the Gauntlet, that'll be more. Yeah, Seasons, I'm about to get my another win. So I'm going to try to grind out two or three more seasons before the before the season is over. Uh, but yeah, I'll just open up some Pro Packs for fun. Yeah, these are kind of like the bosses that we had at the end of... Why did I just open up a beginner pack? I'm stupid. But did I see that they're done with Pro Packs? That's why. I think they're actually like done with Pro Packs. I don't know why. That's kind of weird. I don't know what's with that, but yeah, season's ending really soon. There's a countdown. I'm guessing it'll be ending like in 30 days when this ends, or like right at the start of the NBA season. <coughs> but yeah. I'm actually really excited for that. A few more NBA mobile videos. Maybe I'll show off my legacy team. Maybe one or two more pack openings if I can get some coins. But yeah, I'm really excited for the new NBA mobile season. I could definitely see myself posting a lot of NBA mobile, grinding it out if it's not too much pay to win. But yeah, I'm actually really excited for that. Uh, starting off fresh, I didn't really start off fresh last year, so I was behind a lot. Yeah, final lineup, three weeks, so it's really ending soon. Uh, so I'll be I'll be posting a lot of NBA Mobile, new NBA Mobile, at least at the start, and then hopefully I'll, it'll be able to last throughout the entire year, and I'll be posting a lot of that throughout the entire season, new promos and everything. But yeah, I'm really hyped about this new NBA Mobile season. I want to thank you guys for watching. Yeah, you can just look at these yourself, see what's the best for you to complete, easiest for you. And yeah, I hope you drop a like and subscribe to my channel if you're new. I'll see you next time on Mad Mole Beast. Peace.